kind of cut off too. Good. Just you're the like, star of the show. I know, but you're the driver, so. Yeah, let's focus on you. Boop. Focused. Um, okay. Hold on. Do you know how to get out of here? Let me, let me find a way. with me and we are doing a fun vlog we are doing questions that girls are too afraid to ask guys yeah. and so Philip he is a repeat no what is the word you've been on the vlog yeah. before like, yeah repeat visitor yeah repeat I visitor guess, uh, I was like gonna say repeat yeah. offender but you're not oh, a repeat <laughs> no so anyways I'm so excited to um, ask him these questions um, that you guys submitted on my social media so yeah yeah, I'm excited. It's going to be fun. Let's just do it. Let's do it. Okay. Alright, first question. How do you guys literally think about nothing? It's called the nothing box. Okay, I've heard of this nothing <laughs> box. Kidding. I don't believe about it. I don't believe it. I think it's like, it's kind of hard to explain. I mean, I think we all, every guy I know has experienced something like this. We're just, we're just kind of literally just in a... So I don't know, in a zone. You're literally thinking about nothing. That's what it feels like. Maybe there might be some thoughts going on back there, but it literally feels like I'm just existing and, I li and I'm okay with that. <laughs> I'm, I'm existing. So it's not like all the time? No, of course not. No, no, for sure. No. Okay. It's just like these moments. Or just like, and when you say, what are you thinking about? Well, I'm just, I'm nothing really. Nothing worth mentioning. So. Okay, so nothing worth mentioning is different yeah. than nothing at no, all. No, there's times there's literally nothing at all. Like something like the road, it is gray. <laughs> That's nothing. <laughs> That's what you're thinking about right now is the road? Actually, it was. <laughs> okay, next question. Yeah. Is it wrong for a girl to pursue a guy? Like, do guys like it when girls ask them out? Um, you know, it depends on what like, guy. I feel like I know your answer. Yeah, no, I don't think it's wrong. I really don't. Um, Which I've become more open yeah. to it. Which is good. To be more... Stop. <laughs> well, I know there's guys... Excuse me. <clears throat> I know there's guys who, they're like, no way, no how. But it, but there, I think there's definitely guys out there who are totally open to it, and I I don't think there's anything wrong with the girl just making a move on a guy, but not pursuing him honestly. Not pursuing, pursuing is too strong like of a word. Like dropping the hanky. Yeah, giving the guy a hit, you know, helping him out. I think there's I think that's great. Okay. Honestly. Do you guys judge girls based on their height? If she only if she's just ridiculously short, but some guys are into that. Oh yeah, that's probably no go for most guys. If they're taller. But some guys are into that too. <laughs> so, okay. Girls with guys were simple. There's somebody for everybody. <laughs> okay, do guys prefer makeup or no makeup? I think it's um, somewhere in between. <clears throat> if you can rock that natural beauty, heck yeah. Too much makeup, you're trying too hard. Just like when guys are trying too hard, it's unattractive. Uh, but I think somewhere in between, you know, just a little bit of touch up, making the, I don't know what it's called, with the eyelashes. Yeah, that looks good. Um, okay, this is, I really want to know this one. Do you guys find it hard to cry? Um, depends what kind of guy. I mean, I know we can say that to every question, right? Yeah. But, um, I personally love a good cry session. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, no, I know guys, there are guys out there who, they cry, man. I know personally preachers who cry at every sermon. Yeah. Some of us probably know, it's like every sermon just makes them cry. So there's definitely criers out there, but... Uh, but like if you needed to cry, because I had this, actually I had this conversation with some guys at work mm -hmm. the other day, and they were like saying like they wanted, like wanted to cry, but then there was like a voice in their head saying like to not cry. Like, don't cry, like, you know. And so, be a man, like, don't cry about this. Do you find yourself... I mean, 
mean, I can see how that some guys could experience that, but well, I mean, you know, I can't speak for everyone, but for me myself, um, that's just not a way I express my like sadness, grief. Okay. There's rare instances where that I feel that. So you don't but, cry at movies? No. I mean, I f I could just get allergies, <laughs> really bad allergies. <laughs> <I'm just kidding. laughs> Okay. No, I mean, there's definitely been movies no. where it's like, you know, you're like, oh, kind of uh, what the heck? Like Jesus getting crucified? Yeah, for sure. Okay, for I was sure. gonna say, if you don't cry at that. No, you're... it's not, and it's not trying to be macho or anything no. like that. And I don't think there's anything wrong with a guy if he's wanting to cry. Yeah. Uh, he could cry, but but it's also, also, don't cry too much. Listen to that voice sometimes. <laughs> Listen to that voice. Okay, do you guys prefer space or clingy? Uh, most guys I know personally want space. Uh, clingy, like we said in the last time, it's not a good word. It's not a positive connotation. I mean, it's just it means that like, every moment. I don't know any guy who likes to be suffocated. You know. Do guys want a girl to pay when they're at a restaurant? Hundred percent. I'm sick of paying. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Um, I think it's awesome, honestly. Uh, okay. For sure, the man, man should always initiate that. I, but when a girl steps up and offers that, that's actually like. To, to like, should she just pay her part, or should she oh, pay both? No, no. I, okay, well, let me clarify. Actually, <laughs> um, are we dating? Or am I dating yes, this girl? You're dating this girl. Then yeah, for sure. Then I'll pay sometimes, and she pays sometimes. And I think that's, I think that's awesome. It's kind of like, as a man, I see it as like. Hey, I'm. I want a part of this relationship too, and I, I want to take care of you. you. Yeah, okay. I think that's pretty cool. Okay, cool. Um, what is the first thing that you notice about a girl? What's a physical trait and a personality trait? It's just her heart. Stop. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, definitely like, physical, 100%. Men, we're physical, we're visual. But what no is the first physical? Like, what is a physical trait that most guys look at? What's the rating in this channel? <laughs> PG-13. PG. Uh, PG. Oh, okay. Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, her physique. Okay. How? Because it instantly says, I take care of myself. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's a good answer. Yeah. What about personality? Personality, huge. Oh, that would be definitely the... I know, but what? It's a personality trait. Oh, personality trait. For me, uh, humility. It's huge. Huge. Um, okay. Oh, this is a good one. Mm -hmm. Okay, do guys tell each other that they look good? Like, girls compliment each other? Like, do you go up to your mom and like, hundred oh, percent. You do? Yeah, you should just look at the Instagram feeds on some of the boys. No, but like, in person. <laughs> like, oh, bro, you look so hot. Like, Fire, dude. Stop. I, I'm guilty. Do you, do you I said that, that to my boys, yeah. Okay. Take care of my boys. Like, yeah, man, you look good, dude. So, like, if you saw, yeah. like, your friend at church or wherever, and you would, like, tell him if he was, like, dressed nice. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, 100%. You're like, bro, you look good. I'm surprised. Okay. I like that. Yeah. No, I think it's cool. I didn't yeah. know. Um, do guys judge girls by their job? Yes. Just like girls do that. Um, I Because either she's not trying at all, like she she's not working or whatever, um, or she's just too accomplished and she's intimidated. So, yeah, because like if uh, a guy doesn't want to have to compete with his woman, you know, for finan finances, uh, yeah. that's how I think. Maybe that's a little old school for some people, some of your viewers. But I think I think most guys don't want to have to be in competition with their woman. Okay. Um, I, I agree. Um, can you be best friends with a girl? Yeah, it's called your wife. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I agree. I didn't know yeah. if I would agree with this one. Yeah, no, for sure. I mean, I think there's there's always the outliers. And in every case, there's always going to be a, like a comment like, Oh, you're wrong. Yeah. Me and this guy are best buds. And that's because he won. Because I mean, like, him. I consider you like a really good friend. Yeah, for like, sure. One of, like my best guy friends. Like, but there's yeah. things I don't tell you 100%. that I would tell like my woman mentor or my mom or my friend or my sister, like things like yeah. that. Um, so I personally don't think that guys and girls can be best friends. Yeah, and it's not. It's usually doesn't end up being well. No, just, and then yeah, it never ends well. 
and just because you we can't relate on everything like right. you ha- you do have like good advice on you know things yeah, sure. and like I'll go to you for that but it's not like everything and I that I don't I want to share with you and then um you like you said like your wife like in the end you you want to be dating your best friend exactly. and like be married to your best friend yeah. and so I that's when I say like guys and girls can be best friends yeah I agree I agree yeah I mean I, I know there's probably people out there who they probably don't agree with that yeah don't but, agree with that and they say that they successfully pulled it off more power to you but I guarantee you someone ends up getting hurt yeah um do guys get butterflies and giddy about girls like you know the butterflies in your stomach do you guys get those there's <laughs> what? Be, what's the ch- rating on this channel again I'm just kidding stop dude uh, be serious do you get butterflies um by butterflies do you mean like super nervous nervous and excited like you get like like you know like the butterflies like I guess I guess yeah we could say that I am for sure uh definitely been times where I get nervous yeah like she's so beautiful I don't know what yeah. to say or you know like but like you get like the butterflies where you get like super excited like when you're gonna get to see them and like you get giddy like extra smiley I don't know I honestly <laughs> I, don't, I get excited about seeing them, but well, I don't know if you get it. Giddy, when I think of giddy, I think like giggly and giggles and yeah, so. call my buddy like, oh my gosh, I can't wait to see her. Uh, that has never happened to me. But I'm sure that it's there's... It's going to happen to yeah, you. Oh yeah, someday. it might come off somebody. He's going to be giddy about a girl. Yeah, no, but we definitely get shy and excited about seeing the woman okay. 100%. Why can't y'all ask us out already? Mm. Because don't like you. <laughs> it's just how it is. <laughs> We'd ask you out if we liked you. <laughs> Would you though? Yeah, hundred percent. I thought you said sometimes guys are intimidated. Or well, yeah, they might be intimidated. Yeah, that's true. That's so true. they need the girl to like. So they might they might take some little bit of time. Yeah. And mind it, sometimes things just take time. Okay, you you like how she looks. You like how's it, but you're still, but you don't want to waste her time or your emotions or your time. Uh, so you're like feeling out the situation, so giving it some time. And yeah, and I can see how a girl can get impatient in that process too, for yeah. sure. Yeah. So that could be it too. So this, kind, this, this question kind of goes with it. Yeah. Like, what keeps a guy from asking a girl out? Yeah, he's just lack of confidence. He just does not know. That he even wants to take her out, or the, the, or the like, the friendship or agreement they have is too much to risk. Uh, I guess mm. doesn't want to risk losing that. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I've like had that, that situation. I feel like that happens mm-hmm. quite a bit. Yeah. I've had that situation. It's like she's a great girl. She seems good, but the friendship is too valuable, or like, or the social circle is. You don't want to ruin that. Yeah. Make it awkward, I guess. Yeah. Um, when do guys start wanting to be in a serious relationship? Because I do feel like there's a time that guys just want to, like, date around. Right. And then there's a time where they, like, want to be serious. Like, I've heard people say, like, they would date that girl, but they would never marry that girl. Yeah. Well, I mean, the best way I feel like I can uh, describe that is it's... It, it, I don't think there's a certain time frame, it's just a switch that happens in the heart. And sometimes it's like meeting her within a meeting her that day. It's like you just know like I don't want to marry this girl. And then there's other times it takes a couple months and it's like, but now I know I definitely but it's just it just happens. It's in within a moment. I think most guys are like, yeah, I'm gonna marry this chick. Yeah. yeah. That's it. I wanna be with her. And almost everyone I know has had that moment. Has Who's that, married now? That has that. Like, yeah, exactly. It's just a moment. Oh my gosh. Man, are you talking about a car again? Yes. Oh my gosh. Seriously. Uh, well, that's it for the question. Great. I think you did great. Awesome. Thank I you loved so much. it. Yes. Yeah, it was fun. I, I think this question, obviously, it's my opinion. Like, you know, whatever. Yeah. But it's a guy's perspective. Yeah. And I am a guy. So. You are a guy. So thank you. Well, you guys, be sure to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And 
also check out Philip, his YouTube channel. Um, he's always producing new music and just dropping truth bombs and God ordained wisdom. And so it's just great. So be sure to follow him also on Instagram at Philip Timoshenko. And I'll link everything below. And so yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and I will see you all next time. Thank you for having me on.